Good morning from John Lennon Air Force. Off on another journey, back over to Alla County and back to Benador. This time to review five separate accommodations. A little bit of a mixed bag this time. Uh, so I'm gonna make my way through the airport and I'll see you at the other side of security. Well, that was a bit of an ordeal going through security. Very busy. It is early in the morning. It is a Monday morning as well. But at least I didn't get stopped this time. I've arrived in the centre of Benidorm. When I mean the centre of Benidorm, it's the old town. You've got Levante Beach that way, Ponienti Beach that way, and the church right behind me. And I'm about to show you the first accommodation. It's an apartment. When I say the first accommodation, I'm doing five different accommodations during my stay here in Benidorm. This is the very first accommodation. It's an apartment, and it's only £9 per night. It's these apartments behind me, the El Castel Apartments. I booked in for one night, board only. What do you expect for nine pound per person per night? Check-in is four o'clock and you receive an email just before four o'clock, so don't panic. You will get an email with the code for the front door and a code for a box on the wall outside your room. That code will open the box and you will have a key to enter your room, but you do get that just before check-in time. So, let's see what the El Castel apartments have to offer for £9 per night. As I said, you will receive the email for the door entry code. I can't show you the code, obviously, but it's quite simple to do. And that will open the door. Unfortunately, this apartment don't have any any lips, I'm on the second floor. The 
But as I lay down by the entry door, I didn't turn it on. Turn it on here now. So here we go. As I said, there is a box. I'm on the second floor, there is a box on the wall. You have to put your code in that you're given for the box. And can't show you that again, obviously. And you will end up with the room key. So when I say £9 per night, it's actually £36 per night. That's based on four people sharing, so it works out £9 per person per night. So let's have a look at the room. Now you do have to take into consideration that these apartments are right in the centre of the old town, about 10 yards away from the church. So it is an old building, so expect the decor to match. When you walk in, it's open plan. You do have uh, two single beds, nice tiled background and a sofa bed. So you can get up to four occupants in these apartments for the price of £36. That works out £9 per person. Right by the door, you do have a massive wardrobe. Let's see what's in the wardrobe. Ironing board, an iron, hangers, and I gather that's the duvet for the sofa bed. This side, you do have some drawer space, pillows, more towels, and sheets for the sofa bed. Either side of the bed, power points. Even though it's an older building, you do have this little light across the top of the tiles which lights the room up. That'll be nice at night time. Flat screen TV. Your sofa that pulls out as a bed. A coffee table. Dining table with four chairs. And you do have a mini kitchen. Two ring hob. More power points in the corner. Don't know what's in these cupboards. Oh, so you do have your dishes. Cups and glasses. A bin. Cutlery drawer. A kettle and pans. A freezer, microwave, and a fridge. Everything looks so clean. Joe, for nine pounds per person per night. If you just wanted somewhere to sleep, at a ridiculous price. I know it is February, um, I know it's slightly out of season, but four people coming to Benidorm, staying in the old town for £36 per night, is ridiculous. And this is fairly clean. I'm shocked. To be honest with you, I am so shocked. Let's check out the bed. Just notice there's a couple of pulls on the throw. I'm not that particularly bothered about that. All right, let's pull that back. Now straight away you can see by that sheet that it has not been slept in. That's nice to see straight away. Now they do have a zipped cover on it. I think this is actually a pillow protector. I don't know if that's actually a pillow case or just a pillow protector put on the pillow.
Yes, that looks clean. Do they have mattress protectors? Yes, they do as well. A mattress protector. That looks fairly clean. Towels on your bed, a small towel and a larger towel. Yes, they smell fine. And one last room to check out is, of course, the ensuite. Well, you do have a very large walk in shower. Joe, you know, that doesn't look too bad. Your toilet. Nice and clean. And I love this sink. I've never seen a sink on wooden legs before. And the hairdryer down there. PowerPoint and a mirror above the sink. Do you know what? It's slightly dated. It looks very clean. I don't know. Obviously, no daylight. The window itself is internal. So. It's within the structure of the building, so there's no view from the window. But you know what? Let's try and get a, a longer view of it. Do you know what? I can't really find much of a fault with this place. Um, I could nitpick, I could say like a little bit of the coffee table's got a, a piece on the corner missing. There's a chip in the laminated floor. Do you know, stuff like that, a little bit of flaky um, paint on the wall over there in the corner. Do you know what? What do you want for £9 per night? I'm stressing the fact that it's £9 per night. I paid £36, but I could have three more people in this room with me if I wanted to. And you're central in the centre of Benetton. I know it's out of season, but for we're coming just up to the edge of March now, and they're charging £36 for four people. Not much of a view off the balcony. Let's have a little look. You've got a balcony as well, by the way. So let's have a little look off the balcony. As I said, you're so close to the church. There's the church, just there. That's how close you are to the church. And you do have a little bit of a balcony. Now this is the part of the video where I normally say, let's check out the rest of the hotel, but I can't because it's an apartment. So I'll see you in the morning and I'll let you know what I really think of my one night stay here at the El Castel Apartments. Good morning from the El Castell Apartments here in Benidorm. I've just got to let you know, it's, uh, we've only got a minute to go and the church bells will strike. I'm so close to the church. They keep ringing on the hour and I think half hour, I don't know. But they keep going off. So if you don't like church bells, um, 
then this is not the apartment for you, but you're going to hear them any minute now. Right, the apartment itself. I can't... I, again, I can't fault this. I tell you, ridiculous £36 for four people. I just... I, here's the bells. It's 11 o'clock, so count them. Back to the apartment. I can't fault it. For the price that you pay and what you get, the location, it's well worth the money. You are right in the centre of the old town, yards away from the church. The room itself, it's quite a spacious room. It can sleep up to four people, two single beds and a sofa bed. Quite a lot of space in between the sofa bed and the two single beds. You do have two balcony doors as well. So there's two separate balconies. I've just been using the one. But if you want to, you can have the two balconies open. Um... The bed itself, last night I had a really good night's sleep. And being on a narrow road leading up to the church, I thought there'd be a lot of noise of people coming out of the clubs and the bars in the old town. Never heard a thing. Really good night's sleep on that bed. Must have been a mixture of the fresh air and the travelling, but I conked out. The I haven't really used the amenities behind me. The kitchen, not used it. Not used the fridge or the freezer or the microwave. They're all there. But uh, the bathroom, obviously I've used the bathroom, a shower yesterday, a really good hot shower. I was a bit weary at first because it's a water tank behind me. You don't have to do nothing with it. I just turned the shower on and after about two minutes the hot water came through and there was plenty of it. The TV, Spanish channels. It is an Android TV so all you have to do is log on to your account so you could get your Netflix on your Prime and um, log on to Google and you've got YouTube. So there's plenty to watch. It's just that there are Spanish channels. I couldn't find any of the English channels. Mobility issues. It's on a hill up to the church. If you know the old town of Benidorm, you know that it is on a hill. And then once you get to the apartment, you've got your flight to stairs, depending on what level you're on. I'm on the second floor. If you like this room, send them an email asking for room two to see if it's available for the time that you want it before you book it. I do know that there's a couple above me. I was talking to them and they thought they were going to get a room like this with two beds, but they didn't. They got bunk beds. So do send and ask for a room when you're booking it that has two single beds in. Aircon. I was surprised. It's got aircon. It's a no-frills apartment. Like any apartment, it's self-contained, so don't expect your shampoos, your smellies, uh, your conditioners, and your body washes. You won't get any of that. You've got to bring your own. You do get toilet roll. Check-in, they're strict on check-in. It's four o'clock check-in. You can't check in before. It's got to be four o'clock. You get sent your codes. I got mine sent to me about ten to four. The code for the Wi-Fi, the code for the front door, and the code for your key. So don't worry, don't panic on the day that you arrive. If you, you've arrived four or five hours before and you've not heard anything, about ten minutes before four, all the emails came through. Checkout is 12 noon, so I'll be checking out in about half an hour. Wi-Fi is free as well. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Oh, the price. I think I've told you that anyhow. But... £36 I paid for this room, and four could share it. £9 each. So, over to you. What do you think? Would you stay here? I'd definitely come back and stay here, especially if it's that price. Obviously, it's going to go up as the season goes up, but it still is a cheap price for four people. You're not going to get much cheaper than that. £9 per person, right in the centre of Benidorm. Put down in the comments, of course... Do you like this apartment? Would you stay here? I think, i tell you, it's a little gem. If you've got mobility issues, then it's not for you. So, I'm going to love you and leave you. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'm moving on to another hotel. You'll have to watch out for that one. 
Thanks for watching. And bye for now.